So we just got a question from one of our subscribers asking if you should do your cardio training before or after weights, which is best. I'm not gonna waste any of your time and I'm gonna answer. And the simple answer is it really depends on your goals. If your goal is to get as big, muscular, or strong as you can be, you're gonna wanna prioritize the lifting then the cardio. If your goal is to run a marathon, you're definitely gonna wanna prioritize the cardio before the weights. So that's it, that's really all it comes down to. But there's a lot more kind of specificities that we're gonna get into in a sec. Before we do, I'd like to let you know about our online coaching service that we offer. Offer. As you can see, we've helped hundreds and hundreds of people get in the best shape of their life. People have glowing reviews for us. Definitely check that out. First link down in the description below. We have an amazing summer special that you don't want to miss out on. Now let's continue with this video. So for 99% of people, I definitely recommend starting with a warm up, then weights, then cardio. And the reason for this is body composition kind of just trumps expenditure. So if you think of cardio, you're just trying to burn calories. You know, you're doing slow movements that don't really simulate a ton of muscular development. Whereas lifting weights actually crafts changes and grows your body. Bodies, it gives you the shape. So if you're trying to look the best you can, start with that, prioritize that, because the cardio can actually kind of bite into that. Kyle's gonna jump into that right now. And one of the reasons you actually wanna focus on weight training before cardio is from a mental focus standpoint. So we only have so much energy and focus that we can execute into the gym. And if you go into the gym and spend 30 to 40 minutes doing a treadmill or an exhausting exercise, when you actually get to the weightlifting, you won't be able to be as focused, you won't be able to get the stimulation and the mind-muscle connection needed to actually grow a great physique. Number two, your body's just gonna be extremely fatigued by the end of that cardio. I dare one of you to try a 5K and then go hit a personal record on a squat. Actually, I don't dare you because it's not gonna go well and you're not gonna be able to do it. So your body at a certain point is just gonna wanna give out and you're not gonna be able to focus on the most important thing for most of you, which is actual weightlifting and growing. So to end, cardio and lifting can coexist. If you're very new to the gym, you can kind of get away with doing whatever. Uh, but the best breakdown I recommend for someone who wants to look their best is start with five to 10 minute warm up. And this could even be lifts. So low intensity, steady state cardio, maybe a slow walk, a slow bike, just get the blood flowing. Get into your weight training. You can do that for 40 minutes to an hour. And then past that, if you want to dedicate some cardio, that would be the time to do it. Uh, furthermore too, it'll depend on the type of cardio you're doing. You know, if you did a little bit of lifts beforehand, it wouldn't tire you out as much just something like HIT, high intensity interval training. So you know if you're doing wind sprints, you're gonna get real tuckered out, you're gonna use a complete a lot of your body's glycogen stores and not be able to have that output to hit those big PRs like Kyle said. So they can coexist, but be intelligent with it. If a lot of programming confuses you, definitely click that first link in the description down below. This is a crazy deal. We won't have this on for long. So if you've been looking to get an online coach and get in the best shape of your life, definitely check that out. Peace.